Welcome to our detailed guide on e-filing ACA Forms 1095 and 1094. If you're an experienced ACA e-filer, feel free to skip directly to Step 3, bypassing Steps 1 and 2. Step 1, Obtain a TCC, Transmitter Control Code. For those new to ACA e-filing, securing a TCC for the AIR system is essential. Begin by establishing an ID.me account, which grants you access to e-services and a suite of other online resources. With your e-services account active, proceed to submit an ACA application for TCC. It's important for software developers, transmitters, and issuers, as part of the e-filing process for ACA forms, to acquire a TCC. We recommend most of our clients apply for the transmitter role. Step 2. Pass ACA Testing Never use your real company data for ACA testing. Instead, we'll use pre-built data which you can easily download from the halfpricesoft.com site. If you've just obtained your TCC today, it's wise to hold off on conducting ACA testing immediately. Allow one to two business days for the IRS servers to recognize and synchronize with your new TCC status. Head over to halfpricesoft.com and download the latest version of EZ1095. After downloading the test file, save and unzip it without opening manually. Use EZ1095's restore feature to import this test data seamlessly into the software. Step 3, Generate XML Files With your TCC in hand, enter it into EZ1095 and generate your XML files. Remember, keep the original EIN and other data intact and choose your file folder wisely before hitting Create. You will find two XML files from the file folder. Do not modify the file names. Now, upload these XML files to the ACA testing site, AATS. It takes a few days for the IRS to update your TCC status to production. Keep an eye on it, and don't hesitate to reach out to the IRS if needed. Step 3. Completing the final filing, submitting to the ACA production site. Once your TCC has been updated to P, the production status, it's prudent to wait an additional 1-2 to two business days to ensure the IRS servers have fully recognized this change. Entering your data, with EZ1095, you have the flexibility to input your data manually, or import it via spreadsheets, XML files, or from QuickBooks, accommodating a variety of data preparation methods. Navigating to the e-file section, by clicking on e-file IRS 1094-1095, from the top menu, you can easily access the e-filing interface. Enter the transmitter information. If you're a tax professional submitting on behalf of clients, your information should be entered here. For those filing for their own company, company details must be accurately filled in. After saving your data and selecting Create File, EZ1095 will produce two XML files in the chosen folder. It is important not to manually alter the names or contents of these files. Employing the XML validation feature within EZ1095 is highly recommended to ensure the accuracy and compliance of your data prior to IRS submission, helping to avoid potential issues. With your files ready and validated, you can then proceed to upload them to the IRS ACA UI production system, marking the completion of your e-filing process. Please record the receipt ID after uploading. This ID is crucial for tracking your submission and for any necessary follow-ups with the IRS. Our IRS-approved EZ1095 software simplifies ACA form paper printing, PDF printing, and a filing. It provides unmatched control over your tax data, ensuring security and compliance with data privacy regulations. New clients can explore the software with no obligations or credit card requirements. For assistance, check out the support page on the Half Price Soft site. Our dedicated team is ready to assist you promptly. Streamline your ACA filing with Easy 1095.